Welcome fellow adventurer and dungeon master to a new edition of Character Concept for You, where I create level 1 characters for you to use as either heroes or NPCs. Feel free to change them in any way you like or create your own hero with the build you see before you. My name is Model42 and today I want to tell you about Dorinda, a pretty cool and unique human inventor who specializes in wielding a cool weapon that can devastate your enemies in mere seconds. As you might have guessed, she is a damage dealer through and through, though since she is also a smart girl with a little bit of charm, she can be useful outside of combat, especially when it comes to crafting weapons and armor for the party, or keeping their gear in optimum shape. This is also my first inventor to see the light of day and I have to say, this unique to second edition class is extremely cool flavor. Dorinda has a maxed class DC of 17 based on her intelligence and is very strong and athletic, as you can see by looking at her muscles. Quite impressive if you ask me. She is not that agile, mostly taking her time, is fit and healthy, extremely smart and creative, not that perceptive and also quite a charming lady, though mostly covered under stinking and dirty working clothes, with her beautiful looks only being visible on special occasions. She is amazingly talented at crafting, even more so when it comes to certain items, hence the plus 8, engineering law, labor law, mining law, occultism and society, almost as good in athletics, and quite decent in arcana, diplomacy and intimidation, with the rest not being that important, quite a useful mix to add to a fighting build. Her saving throws are decent, though their potential is almost wasted since all three stats are not her best ones, which also explains her basic perception. She moves with 25 feet and has a total of 18 hit points, though will only pass away at dying 5 instead of 4, which makes her surprisingly tough. She speaks five languages fluently, Common and Tian which both are her mother tongues, growing up bilingual, dwarf in the language of the nation she was born in and where she learned her trade, Nomish because of her co-workers and trainees, and even studied Draconic since she heard of the ingenuity of kobolds and Nyrixi and wanted to be able to speak to them, should see meet them. Her armor classes are not that great, a 13 without armor and a 14 if she wears her leather working gear, though if you find better armor in the wild, she will take it. The only reason she doesn't carry better is the artwork, and because our starting money was not enough, she can wield most weapons fine and carries a great axe for sweeping attacks, though her main weapon is her innovative bastard sword, which is her invention. Both weapons are good at hitting and deal tons of damage, but as you can see with her sword, it has some traits and effects listed, that we look at later, since they make this weapon so good, every fighter in the world would want one of these babies. As an inventor she gets tons of abilities, so here we go. Being a human, she gains nothing special, but being versatile gives her a general feat, which is toughness granting her one extra hit point on each level and also reduces her recovery check DC by one, which is nice. Her first level ancestry feat is general training, granting her another general feat, which is die hard, what we talked about earlier and was foreseeable. As her skill feat from being a tinkerer she gains specialty crafting with the chosen job being blacksmith, which gives her a plus one bonus to crafting durable metal goods and metal armor, increasing to plus two once she hits master in crafting. Awesome, we look at overdrive, explode and shield block later, since they're all actions and reactions. Her invention is a weapon, said bastard sword, and when she gets into overdrive, she changes the extra damage to fire, and also gave her weapon the upgrade, Entanglement, making it a chainsword that can also grapple and trip. Kind of like Ivy from Soul Calibur or the villain from the movie Pact of the Wolves. As her first class feat we chose Variable Core, making her sword work with electricity instead of fire, but now, when it explodes or critically fails, we suffer electricity damage instead of fire, weirdly enough. It does not change the bonus damage from overdrive. Also she is a peerless inventor, which gives her the skill feat, inventor, ignoring the prerequisites of being a master in crafting, and allows her to craft formulas she does not know with the normal crafting rules, which is just stunning. The shield block reaction will not be explained this time, but should you find a shield in the wild or by one, there, you can block damage with it once per round, as long as the shield holds. 
Her main feature is the overdrive, which costs one action to activate, which can be done once per round and you make a crafting check with a DC based on your level. On a critical success, for one minute, you add your intelligence ability modifier to your invention as fire damage and the ability has a cooldown of one minute. On a normal success, it is the same, but you only add half that damage instead. On a fail, nothing happens, but on a critical failure, you take fire, or in our case electricity, damage equal to your level and the ability has a one minute cooldown. The cooldown does not say, you cannot activate again, it just is the time until you can safely activate it again, so you can, during an overdrive, activate it again, though if you succeed, you have the critical overdrive with full damage and pretty much upgraded a normal half damage overdrive. If you fail however, you get the critical failure instead and the overdrive ends. Her next ability is Explode, which lets you damage your invention by overloading the core. This is a 2 action ability and the weapon will explode, dealing 2d6 fire damage, or electricity in our case, also adding 1d6 for each level starting level 3 as well, to all creatures in a 5 foot emanation, who all get a basic reflex save which can double, let through, half or negate the damage. Since it is unstable, after that happened, you make an immediate flat DC 17 check and on a fail, the weapon cannot be used until repaired. Should you have a critical failure, this will also happen, but you also suffer electricity damage equal to your level. Repairing the weapon requires tools and a place as usual, but only takes 10 minutes without the need of a check. Since this weapon is your baby and nobody knows it as good as you do, all in all, this class sounds really cool. Dorinda can carry a total of 8 bulk without penalty and a maximum of 13, having gear of 6 bulk and 5 light at the moment. She only has 21 copper and 6 silver pieces in her pockets, which is not much, and has equipped her invention, a leather armor, consisting of a bra, mantle and boots, a bandolier, where her repair kit is situated right now, a belt pouch, ordinary white clothing, and also fine dwarven glasses worth 3 silver pieces. Furthermore she carries a great axe, backpack, bedroll, flint and steel, a blank formula book, rations for a week, two sheaths, one for her sword, and the other is a holding for her great axe as pictured, soap, water skin, a writing set, four sets of ordinary clothes in white, an ordinary white nightshirt, a brown leather raincoat and black winter furs. Our cool inventor is a human with the versatile heritage and a tinker with the trace human and humanoid. Since she is an uncommon inventor, you need to ask your DM permission if you can play her. This medium-sized lady prays to the god of the forge, Taurag, a dwarven god, and is of lawful neutral alignment, keeping to laws and traditions, doing the right thing most of the time, but also wanting to do what she wants as well, which is perfecting her craft most likely. She is of mixed blood, her father being a Tualden smith in High Helm and her mother being a Tian woman that he bought from a slave auction and both falling in love while she was working for him, now being a housewife, caring for their other two children, twin boys of 12 years, while her father named her, the twins are named by her mother and Dorinda each, both carrying Tian inspired names that mean weapon and armor in a broad sense. The family still lives in High Helm, the capital city of the Five Kings Mountains. Dorinda is a woman of 23 years and has a height of 1 meter and 80 centimeters, or 5 feet 9 inches, and her muscular frame weighs 74 kilograms, or 163 pounds. As are most of my characters, she is bisexual, caring for feelings and love more as for gender, though you can make her whatever you want her to be. When it comes to her personality, I chose all three points from human and inventor each, adding four of my own. She wants to achieve great things, making her father proud of his daughter and also seeks a place for herself and her work in this world, which is why she began traveling, though she holds her family and friends in the highest regard cherishing each moment with them and carrying them everywhere she goes. Being of a very creative mind, she loves to create new things the world has not seen before, is willing to test each theory that presents itself, though she sometimes forgets to clean herself, often being covered in oil and grime after working or tinkering with her weapon. She is focused on that, since she has decided to create the best weapon Galarian has ever seen, also wanting to test it out and being fearless and brave because of that, though many might just call if reckless or distracted. Dorinda has the quirk that she likes to sing while tinkering, though she is not really good and some of the notes might scare away elves and animals alike, 
but she does not care. What she does care about are compliments, no matter if about her or her craft, which will make her blush in a cute and shy way, unless they come from her family in which case she is just super happy. If you want her complete character sheet, so that you do not need to copy and paste from screen, just hop on over to my Facebook and send me a nice little hello, with the added wish for Dorinda. Thank you for sticking with me to the end and if you like Dorinda or just want to help out, leave a like and subscribe for more content and guides. You can also leave a comment of what you think about her or how you would use her in your games. Stay safe my friends and we will see each other somewhere in Galarian.